I've had more setbacks than anyone can imagine. I wasn't supposed to be a professional boxer. I wasn't supposed to go to the Olympic Games. I wasn't supposed to represent my country over 100 times, captain the Olympic boxing team. I wasn't supposed to do that. I was a little fat kid. If you ask people looking at a 10-year-old Fraser Clark, he's gonna be a professional boxer, do me a favor. But like I, said, I always say this to people, I've got an uncanny thing inside of me that when people say I can't do it, I have to. And I might not show that. Me people might think, oh yeah, this and that. But when it comes to, especially in a fight, if it comes to a fight, you versus me in a fight, you're not finding a bigger heart than in this chest. No way. This is my getaway. This is what, this is what I love because it's just all me. And that might be selfish in a way, but I don't think there's anything wrong with people being selfish and, and doing something they love if it makes them happy because, you know, the way the, way the world is at the minute, terrible news all the time, people doing mad stuff to themselves and, you know, a lot of depression, a lot of mental health and stuff. You got to, you've got to be happy in yourself and find something you enjoy. I come to work every day. This isn't work. This is, this is what I love doing. It's hard. It can be times where I, I don't feel up to it, but after, after the sessions, I feel great. And now uh, that doesn't have to be boxing. That can be anything. I mean, sports, sports, a great example, but there's so much that you can you can do the craziest thing. you can read you can go jump out of airplanes you can you can do the wildest things in the world but everyone's got something they like and and it doesn't matter if it's different because we're all different people individuals have individual mindsets and you can do whatever you want I I believe you can literally be at anything you want to be if you put the right work and dedication in. How do you decide what your thing is? You might you might find it by accident you might not you might not you might not we set a path, some people set it like from birth. And myself, I wasn't a boxing family. Just just tried everything else, tried all the sports possible, tried boxing, fell in love with it. The smell of the gym, the atmosphere, the people, the different cultures. Was, I've thought about it earlier actually. It's one of the only places in the world that a man other than my father could tell me what to do. Like, the, your head coach for me is the boss. They tell me to jump and stand there and bite like a dog, I'll do it. The only other person that can do that is my dad in the world. Don't rule out nothing. Don't rule out anything. You know, you might you might stumble upon something, you know, by by accident. Um, but if it makes you happy and it makes you feel good about yourself, you should do it. I think having someone to look up to is always, always good because you strive to be not them but like them. And to do that, you, you sort of you take interest in their journey and find out what they've done. And that, that in itself, you, you're going out, you're researching, where, what am I going to do to achieve the same pe things that these people have achieved? And then you start challenging yourself and you start trying to be that, do these things that these people have done. Now, that is something that's lacking in society. You know, people striving to, striving to do things, people with ambition. I had someone say to me the day, oh, you're lucky. There's nothing lucky about what, what I'm doing in my life. If they could see the, the, the 30 years of me living normal and then the, the, the time from leaving school to now with, with no money no no real no real line to where i'm going setbacks being knocked back from the olympics when i thought that was the end goal losing first fights of tournaments being told i'm you know my, my condition's not good enough um the list goes on so these role models the people that i've looked up to without them you know I, I don't know, you don't know where you're going. They're just great guidance. Guidance is something that we all need, you know, and like I say, yeah, I try and like, I use the example now, I try to guide my kids the way I think they should, you know, they should go. Ultimately, I make their own decisions, but I can only give them guidance just off my previous experience. How much pressure do you feel and what pressure do you feel as a professional boxer? A lot, a lot. Um, I've got two kids. I've got one with a previous partner, one with my, my partner now. Um, so my oldest daughter, Mila, probably, probably due to splitting with her mother, I haven't seen her for nowhere near enough of her life as I should have or wanted to. I still see her every week, but it's still obviously set days and whatnot. So you're seeing her half the time. Not putting your little kids into bed every night is difficult. And then when I, and then when I do get to see her, if daddy's got a train, Daddy's got to train. Um, it's a lot of love. I have to, I've had to sacrifice love to progress. Now, if you really deep that, 
it's it's horrible. My 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 little boy now is one. Um, the first, I think, when he was two weeks old, I left him for six weeks, and I could only speak to him on FaceTime. Uh, now I miss miss these miss his first miss Mila's first this Mila's first that. I was boxing. I was doing what I had to do because I knew that one day this is gonna this is gonna provide for them and provide for me, my missus, the kids. My missus says to like, Oh, you gonna get him some boxing gloves? I say I'm gonna but I'm terrified because if once he starts, there's no going back. Once he starts, he's doing it properly, especially with me as a dad. I know what's proper and he, all the mistakes I've made, he won't be making them. I won't let him. It's horrible to say this. Sometimes fam family have to become second, second best in, in this life. And that's an awful thing to say, isn't it? But I'm obsessed with this game. It takes over your whole life. It's 24/7. It's when you go on holiday. It's when it's when you on Christmas Day when when everyone's getting everyone's having ridiculous amounts of beer and food, and you, you and you sat there and it's going to family parties. I was at a family party last weekend. Everyone's absolutely steaming. I'm sat there, sober as a judge, hating life, wanting to go home and just be just be in my bed because I'm tired, my muscles are aching. I'm trying to speak to everyone, trying to entertain the kids. It's because of boxing. It's life. It's, it's, it's what I chose. It's the only, only thing I know. I have the power to become... I don't know why this is. Don't ask me why. I think I have the power to become more than a boxer, even a world, more than a world champion. I think I'm going to do, I, I've done some good things in my life. I think I'm going to do something great at some point to help others. Um, so I think ultimately, if, if I can look back in my life and say, you know what, I made, I made a lot of people happy or changed a few people's lives, that's the end, end, end goal for me. World champion's great. Everyone wants to be a world champion. Fingers crossed I'll get there. Working hard to get there. But that won't, that won't define me. What will define me is what I do for other people. One of my favourite fighters, Marvin Hagler, God rest his soul. He said when he goes to camp, he's like going to prison. And I took that very, I took that like, I know what it means, like very, very military. Don't get wrong, the weekends, I'm with my family, but in Monday to Friday, not punishing myself, but take away the luxury, take away the niceness, and it, and it, and it makes you run that, that a little bit faster. It makes you spoil a little bit harder because you know you're sacrificing, you know you're sacrificing, and uh, that that's just, it just works for me personally. In boxing camp, in, in fighting camp, you have to condition your brain that you're going to war, you're going to, you're going into the darkness, the wilderness where no one wants to be. You can't have it easy, can you? The fight ain't gonna be easy. Someone's trying to punch your head in. Someone's just organized chaos, someone's, Someone's allowed to try and kill you. So you've got to suffer here, suffer here, and be, get used to suffering. Make suffering become normal, so then on fight night in front of the lights, you're suffering. People think, oh my God, that's brutal. I've been doing that for eight weeks, no worries. Oh my God, that guy's sticking his head in, it's no problem. I've been having elbows and sparring for, for eight weeks of, of people that I'm, I'm paying to come here and try and kill me. Work that one out. You pay, you pay your sparring partners each week to come here and try and try and get to me, try and take my head off, because it's going to improve me. Savage sport. What scares me? Letting myself down. Don't like that. Don't like that. Let my coach down. Don't like that. Everyone likes to be praised by the coach. It doesn't happen all the time. It doesn't happen to me all the time. Uh, but no one likes to disappoint. Let my family down. My nan, my granddad, mum and dad, they, they love me. They want me to do well. They, they think, I'm, I think I'm invincible, so I have to try and be invincible. It scares me. It scares me one day, one day people saying, he should have done this, he should have done that. I want people to come up and say, bloody hell, mate, you had a good career. You're a nice person. Let's have a drink. Why can't you be the MVP? Why can't you be the world champion? What makes you different to these people that are doing it? Nothing. You have two arms, two legs, brain and blood running through your veins. The difference in, is that they're waking up and they're doing it because they're working towards it. And it might, might not take a day, might not take a year, might take, for, it might take 10 years. 
But these people that are there, believe me, they've had a struggle to get there because they thought why, they looked at someone and thought, well, if he can do it, I can do it. So why can't it be you? Why can't you be the one to go and achieve greatness? I used to see, I seen, I think it was probably Amir Khan, 2004, won Olympic silver, 17 year old. Oh, if he's done it, why can't I? Become, a, become apparent that <laughs> once I start, it's going to be difficult, this is. It's not going to be easy. But I can do it. I can get my, I can get Olympic medal. Look at these guys in this wall in this gym in Sheffield. They've all got Olympic medals. What's the, what's the, what did they do different to me, coach? What did they do different? No, nothing, but they all worked really hard. You need to work a bit harder. Looked at myself in the mirror. You're 100% right, I need to work, so I'll work harder. Started working harder from that second. Why not you? That's my question to everyone.